This little skull right here destroyed one of the biggest lies in science. For decades, Europeans believed that human evolution started in Europe. They even had fake fossils like the Piltdown Mound hoax to try to prove this. But this particular fossil right here, the Tong Chow of South Africa, changed everything. It proved them all wrong. Meet right here, the Australopithecus Africanus Tong Chow, that is 2.8 million years old. This particular skull is special in the archaeological record because it has certain key characteristics that are human-like. And for years, a lot of scientists believe, like I said first, that life started outside of Africa. Human life started outside of Africa. But in 1924, everything changed. When they discovered this particular hominid, one thing that impressed everybody, it was the foramen magnum. Now, what is the foramen magnum? Now, the foramen magnum is the hole that is located at the base of the skull that attaches the spinal column to. Every human being on Earth has one of these. That's why we all walk up straight. It is, an, it is called the anterior, right? The anterior foramen magnum, right? In order for all of us to walk two, on, on both of our feet, it has to be located right here. This was one of those discoveries that changed everything because we have a split that happened between chimpanzees, right? Seven million years ago. So we should find artifacts. We should find hominids that share certain characteristics of upright walking. Well, this particular skull has it all. Another thing that is, real, that, um, that is special about this particular skull is the dental anatomy, right? In uh, in the wow, right? All gorillas and chips have these large fangs, these, these large fangs. That's called a CP3 honing complex. The maxillary canine hones in on the lower third premolar, sharpening them, right? It's a sharpening mechanism. It's a, it's a, a sign for aggression. Um, a lot of male uh, chimps have these long, um, fang-like canines, okay? We don't. In this particular hominin, they're reduced. They don't have a, a, a functioning CP3 honing complex. That's loss. That's another key hallmark that we all share as humans. So that's what made this particular discovery very, 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 very awesome, right? Because before then, they were lost. They were looking outside of Africa. For 30 to 40 years, people didn't even have any understanding that we had fossils like this in Africa. And after this discovery, you had other discoveries like, um, like Lucy, right? And et cetera, right? But again, let's look, look at this uh, foramen magnum, right? The foramen magnum, like I said, is the hole that's in the back or under the skull located right anteriorly speaking, everybody that walks upright possesses one of these, right? If this was an ape, if this was a gorilla, this hole would be located on the distal back portion and the spinal column would connect like this. We don't walk like this. This is the difference between a, a biped and a quadruped, right? Walking on all fours, your foramen magnum will be in the distal. That hole that you see here would be here, right? For bipedals or bipedally, if that's a word, the hole is located right in the middle, okay? You get that? So the Tong Chow was discovered, like I said, 1924. It changed everything in science. It proved that upright walking came first before large brains did, okay? If you like, African history, culture, and greatness. Make sure you like the channel. Make sure you follow and become a member, okay? Because I'm going to be sharing more content like this in the future. I'm going to have a series that's coming up called Out of Africa Undefeated, okay? So if you guys want to be a part of that, make sure you guys follow up. Hit that, uh, uh, that, that bell. Make sure you guys hit everything you guys need to do so the algorithm 
can keep me and you guys engaged with each other. Okay. So to recap, Australopithecus africanus, this particular Tong child was discovered in South Africa, right? And what made this particular hominid so special is because of the hole that's under the base of the foramen magnum, right? The hole is what make all humans walk straight. And this is what you need to see in early hominids to suggest the upright mobility of hominids. Another thing is the uh, CP3 honing complex that these particular hominids lost. We do not have fangs on our teeth. They don't have any fangs on their teeth either. Okay. So again, if you like African history and culture and greatness, hang on with us. Oh, another thing, I changed the name of this channel. Okay, we're still poor city African centered consciousness, but I changed consciousness to intellectuals because we are African centered intellectuals. Okay, thank you. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys come back.